Hi folks, Casey Dimon here with the TaxSellAcademy.com and in this video we're talking about how to fund your tax sale investments. You know, the most common excuse that I get from beginners is that they want to get started in tax sale investing, they just don't have any money, so they can't possibly do it, right? Well, the fact of the matter is they shouldn't be worrying about how to fund it, they should be worrying about being more creative. You know, when it comes down to it, there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different methods that you can acquire the funds necessary to invest in tax sale properties. Now in this video we're talking about just a few of those different methods. Now in the Tax Sale Academy we have lots and lots of additional methods that we teach and you know even still I have a lot of my students that come up with very creative methods on their own to get access to the funds that they need to invest in tax sale properties. But the first one we're going to discuss in this video is cash, cold hard cash. I know it sounds obvious here, you know, if you have the cash, why are you even watching this video? Well, it might not be that easy. I'm not talking about going to a savings account or a checking account, just taking that money out and directly investing in the tax sale properties. What I'm talking about here is acquiring cash somehow. You know, maybe you have an old antique car or an antique tractor or something that you wanted to restore, but you know you'll never get around to it. It. Maybe you have an old boat just collecting dust. You know, maybe you have some real estate somewhere else that you'll never ever use. Could you potentially sell these items and take those funds and invest in tax sale properties? It's a good possibility. Or maybe you work, you know, maybe you're an hourly employee and you could pick up a few extra hours a week. You know, just a few extra hours, four or five extra hours a week over the course of a month or two and you could very possibly have enough money to start investing in tax sale properties. You have to remember here that a lot of my students start with less than $500. So it doesn't take a whole lot of money to do this. You know, if it goes back to that old car, that piece of property that you have, you know, that you'll never use, you sell those items and you have a lot more than $500 more than likely. You know, another method is a hard money lender. Now, if you're not familiar with a hard money lender, basically they'll lend you money at a higher than normal interest rate. You know, they're kind of like a bank, but, you know, usually it's a private individual that has a lot of money. They'll loan you the money. It's going to be at a higher interest rate than a bank will charge. So, you know, you can either go to a hard money lender, somebody that specializes in this, or you could find your own hard money lender. You know, maybe you have a rich uncle, you know, a rich grandparent, maybe a brother or sister that has some money. You know, maybe a friend that you know that has some money. You could use them as a hard money lender. You know, say, listen, I'm going to borrow money. It'll be at this amount of interest, and I'm going to pay it back to you. Now, I have to warn you here, of course, if you borrow money from a friend or a family member and you don't pay it back, that relationship is probably going to go right down the toilet. So you have to make sure you fulfill your promise that you'll pay them back with the interest that you tell them and the amount of time that you tell them. Another option is a home equity loan. You know, maybe you have a piece of property that you have equity in. Maybe it's the house you live in. Maybe it's a vacation house. You know, maybe it's just a piece of property somewhere. Could you potentially get a loan on that property, borrow against the equity you have in that property, and then use that equity to invest in tax sale properties. It's a very good possibility. And the last option we're going to discuss today is credit cards. You know, a lot of people don't realize this, but there are a lot of auctions across the country where you can actually go to the auction and swipe your credit card. You know, it's just like checking out the grocery store, more or less, but instead of buying groceries, you're actually buying a piece of property. Now, some auctions don't allow you to swipe credit cards, so what you can do in a situation like this is get a credit card advance. You know the ones that charge 20, 25, 30% interest? Yes, it's a lot of interest. Well, granted, it sure is. I mean, and that can add up fast. But if you learn how to successfully invest in tax sale properties, the last thing you're going to be worried about is some 20 or 30% interest because you're going to pay it off so quickly, you're going to roll that money over into more and more properties, you'll be collecting a lot of money when it comes down to it, and you aren't going to worry about those credit card interest rates. But it is certainly a possibility to help you get started. So there's four methods right there, and like I said before you know, I got started on these methods, there's a just a load of methods out there. When it comes down to it, you just have to be creative in finding different ways to fund these tax sale investments. Really sit down and think about it. Think about where you could possibly obtain the capital needed to start investing. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see similar videos, head on over to my website at thetaxallacademy.com, which you can do by clicking the blue link right here next to my head. Again, it'll take you to thetaxallacademy.com. Once you get there, download your free copy of my ebook, The Tax Investing Blueprint, and you'll be on your way to a very successful tax investing career. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.